Okay, big time conference matchup for us this week. Uh, first time a conference game at home. Uh, this team, you know, looking at the rankings this week, very surprised uh, that this opponent's not in the top 25. 4-0 coming into the game. They haven't played a game that uh, that has been within 10 points. So uh, I think believe they're third in total offense, third in scoring offense, extremely explosive. I think that uh, they might be second in average per uh, completion. So this is. Um, Two weeks ago, we played, at the time, the most explosive offense in college football, and, and here we go again with um, one of the one of the top three. So this is going to be a big matchup for us. Uh, we obviously have a lot of injuries on defense, so we're going to need a lot of people to step up to play in this game. We're going to need a big-time day from our fans. Uh, we, we've asked before about third down. We're going to need it on first, second, and third because they, are, they do do a bunch of no huddle and hurry up stuff, which has a lot to do with the communication of the quarterback and another 10 players out there. So the louder that our crowd can be on first and second down as well as third down would help our defense a lot. The other side of the ball, the defense is playing really well. I know they gave up a bunch of yards in the West Virginia game, but outside of that, they've really shut down everybody else. Um, and, and those were a couple big plays by some great players, Noel Devine making some big plays. Um, so th this is a, a defense that's underrated as well, I think. Uh, they're getting healthy at the right time. It's a very healthy team. They got the defensive end, the other defensive end back last week. He played some for them. So uh, they got about seven or eight defensive linemen that rotate in there that are all big time SEC players. So uh, th this, is a, this is a very tough opponent, one that is a, a great offense and, and a defense that is playing really well also. You know, you got two new coaches, two new coaching staffs, a bunch of new players, um, you know, I think we've lost to them four times straight, so this would be it would be big from that perspective for Tennessee and, and for our fans uh, to get back on a winning track. I know at one point there was a long streak versus Auburn that Tennessee had won a bunch in a row, and over the last four years that has changed for whatever reason, so it would be good to get that back going the other way. I think the Florida's the most similar in what they do, but they are different. The quarterback doesn't run as much as Tim, uh, you know, but he he's throwing the ball extremely well. I think it's why he's in the top five, I think, in passing efficiency. and why they're so explosive because he, he's throwing the ball extremely well and they're making big plays for him. But they do, you know, it's, it's, it's a wilder offense than Florida's. There's so much stuff going on around. Uh, I think my dad said the other day, the other night when we were talking about it, he says, like, trying to read a book and someone's waving their hand in front of the book. You know, you're trying to look at it, what's going on, and you can't really see it, you can't really focus because there's so much misdirection, so many shifting emotions. So. Gus has done an unbelievable job. Look at the track record. Look at what he did at Arkansas, and look at what he did last year. They were second in total offense, I think, in the country last year, and now he's coming in their third at a different place with brand new players. So uh, he, he does a great job. Yeah, I think that they're they're, they're kind of similar to ours. To ours. You got the old guy and you got the young guy, um, and and their average per carry is better than ours. So um, they're doing a great job. They do more than we do. You know, they're kind of all over the place and moving around and bunch of different runs we're, we're kind of you kind of know what we're going to do we, we don't run a ton of runs um, so I think the style that we play in is different but uh, I think that um, I think you have a pretty cool matchup of, of two older guys that, that are way up there in the conference in Russian and two you know two young potential superstars the last thing I want to see is them score a lot of points and us not so uh, <laughs> if they're scoring a bunch of points I hope we're scoring a bunch of points so um, you know they, they're they have a lot of firepower and who knows? You never know. You guys cover college football, and you go to a game, and you think, well, you know, you go to one game, and you say, well, these are two great offenses, and, and all of a sudden they play to a 10-7 game. And then you go to another game, and you think, well, nobody's going to score because they're great defenses, and all of a sudden the game ends up, to sh ends up a shootout. So you never know what's going to happen. We, we want to win regardless of what the score is.